Hello everybody, I'm Renzo Mox, and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars set review. Now, I know I kind of crapped the bed, there's a couple sets that I didn't review, I, in fact, I, I, I recently figured out that I did review the Praetorian, but I never really uploaded a right review, so what I might do, um, I'm just gonna let that one be, even though I really do like the Praetorian, um, sadly, I just, I take, I've taken them apart, I just don't see any reason. But this time we're taking a look at the new 2017 Darth Vader. He was released in January, technically, of 2018. He costs about $45 to $50, depends on where you live. And he's got 168 pieces, if I'm correct. Anyways, let's get into it. So, right off the bat, he's already incredibly tall, and I mean, holy crap. I don't have Chewbacca anymore, but apparently Darth Vader is a lot taller than Chewbacca, which in my eyes is just insanity. He was never this tall in canon, to my uh, recollection. And overall, he just kind of seems unnecessarily tall. I get what they were trying to do, but oh, I, I don't know. They tried to do this with regular Vader too, and I think it just kind of backfired. They always try to make him really tall, which Vader is not. He's not supposed to be a gigantic human being. In fact, if you watch A New Hope, really, he's not even that big at all. He's, like, a little taller than most of the people, so... Yeah. Anyways, I really like this guy, despite his size. There are a few things that kind of bother me, but overall, he's pretty decent. So let's take a look at him. Uh, starting off with, I guess, the legs zoom in a bit. They're built pretty weirdly. Uh, they're not really conventionally built where, you know, you have the uh, upper armor piece and then maybe the Star Wars shin piece. Instead, he uses both of the same piece, which actually gets a lot of coverage. Does it look decent? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I don't know. It depends. It's definitely a weird piece to use on the outside like this. Chewbacca did this too, and I think he did okay, but, um, Vader does it a little bit better, in my opinion. So he's got just the regular unprinted one. He's got standard black feet, nothing special with friction adders. Um, and then he's got these exclusive printed ones, which is more of this texture that we saw on the original Vader. It's a nice texture. Um, and yeah, it's nice. It's actually not it's, it's not bad of a recolor, because you can use this. Or not a recolor, it's a printed piece. Uh, you can use this if you'd like, and you get more pieces like that up above, but I'll, I'm just going to stay fixated on the the legs. So let's lift up the skirts here, and you can see the back, yeah. Um, so if you can see that right, those are the Star Wars shin pieces on his back, which are okay. But unfortunately, his legs are incredibly limited when it comes to articulation. Um... That's about as far as he can go, realistically, unless you want to... Yep, no, that's about as far as he can go. Uh, which kind of sucks. He's got really weird legs, and they're built incredibly oddly. I don't know why, what, what kind of technique they're trying to go for here, but it clearly didn't work out very well. Um, moving up a little bit, as you can see, the old Vader had this too. He had a printed chest piece with a... Um, with this print on it, now we get a 5 long with that print on it, which is nice, actually, I really like that. And overall in that area, as you can see, there's actually some Technic, oh god, this is where it gets a little, a little hard to see. This is an entirely black figure. Yeah, you can see some Technic panels in there, which obviously house these little, um, these little system panels, which are supposed to be like, I don't know, data pads or whatever. And overall, he's got a nice side. Um, he's fairly thick, which is what I accused, uh, the last 2015 Vader of being. He had a very large waist. And while I kind of excuse that now, I initially didn't like that because it just made him seem kind of fat. And this Vader does too. Very large waisted. Then he has the Star Wars piece, which is also printed. Um... I don't like this. I think it's okay. It it kind of so this is where the set kind of loses me a little bit because sorry about that. The shoulders kind of just stop. There's no shoulders. But, I mean, there's no like meat in between the chest and the shoulder. So you end up getting this kind of bad combo, which I don't really like. Um, 
it just doesn't look that good, honestly, in my opinion. Um, as for the arm, <coughs> sorry about that. As for the arms, as you can see, we've got it's very standard six long armor piece, black hand, and then that printed five uh, five long piece, which I mentioned earlier. He's also got gunmetal shoulder pads, which is nice. That's a cool recolor. They kind of flap, which I don't like. I mean, the blue piece, blue pin axle or whatever would have been fine for that, but I mean, they just wanted his gearbox to work, which, yes, he does have a gearbox. Let me show that off here a little bit. And I will talk about his lightsaber and stuff in a bit, but um, obviously there's a gear on his back, and... It moves. Fairly standard. Um, nothing really new. Obviously, he does have this lightsaber, which I think is ridiculously oversized. I don't know why they decided to oversize this lightsaber so much, but they did. And here's the result. <laughs> uh, nice. That This is the kind of, not chrome, but this is metallic silver, which is really nice. It's nice to get that. It's nice that we're getting most of those pieces for lightsabers now. It's actually really cool. Um... It goes to show that Lego actually, you know, they don't really, they, they're actually investing in the theme a little bit. And even with sets like this, it's nice to see that Lego honestly cares to make a second Darth Vader. This is the second Darth Vader. And it feels like they kind of one-shotted their first try, so they're trying again. And now this is the part where I usually shut down. So this is the head, and as you can see, it is gigantic. I don't have the other one for reference, I'll do it in a size comparison shot or whatever. But it is really big. Like, there's just my hand on it. That's massive. And the idea is that this one is two pieces, which is actually really cool. So you just pop that off and ew! No. Um, so as for this head, let's just zoom in on that a little bit. Uh, contrary to popular belief, I actually don't like, I don't hate all the humanoid Star Wars heads. Just most of them. A lot of them look really terrible, and that's not, um, I mean, that's not LEGO's fault. They're trying a weird style. They're trying to get the look of the original characters while also maintaining a cartoonish style, and it usually doesn't work. It only really worked for Obi-Wan because he was based on the Clone Wars Obi-Wan, but, I mean, this one's okay. I don't know. I don't like the expression. I think he's got a dumb expression on his face. He's kind of looking up, which is weird. Um... But well, that's the whole piece, so as you can see, he gets kind of the neck too, um, the scars and stuff, and eh, overall it looks fine, I guess. You got some nice printing on the back of that neck brace. Overall, I mean, it doesn't look too good, but I mean, I think you could just cover up. It's not like you're constantly... Exp also, discovered this fun feature last night. It doesn't look as good on cam on this camera, maybe, but... When you open up the mouth, he looks like he's got a goofy smile, and I love that. I freaking love that. I know nobody's ever done that before, so I just want to do it, because it looks freaking hilarious. It looks like the silver bits are his teeth, and he's just like, ha, 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 and it's funny. I like it. Um, I guess the last thing to talk about would be his uh, capes and stuff. So he's got some really nice capes here. So he's got this gigantic cape, and you guys obviously... This cape is freaking enormous, and I love it. I love capes anyways, so this is already a win. I tried it on Renzo, and it looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, but he also, in an added bonus, he's got a skirt, and that's nice too. It's not as, you can't use it as well as a, just a normal cape, but it's still, you know, you can still use it. So, yeah, that's really it for him. Um, also, fun thing to note. He's got some black bushings, which I know everyone has been talking about lately. Um, but right there, those are black bushings. Just wanted to mention it in case you guys didn't know by now, but it seems that everyone's kind of covering that fact. But yeah, that is Darth Vader 2017. So initially, I was very skeptical of this new version of Vader. I was very curious at first, like, why are we even getting a new Vader? And I understand now, LEGO's trying new stuff. As much as you don't want to admit it, LEGO has been basically recycling the exact same build, and it's finally refreshing to get some good builds. Builds like General Grievous, K2SO, and Chewbacca. While you may not like Chewbacca or K2SO or whatever, you have to admit they're doing unique builds. And this is what Vader is doing too. He's not going by a conventional build, he's basically going by a brand new build. 
Now, for as many pieces as he actually has, his build wasn't that hard to put together. And it seems weird, because he's got a lot of parts. I don't really know why this was the case. He just felt like, he overall felt like a very, he didn't feel like he had that many pieces. He had a lot of small Technic pieces, sure, I don't know. It's hard to explain. He's got a lot of big pieces, too. But, first of all, he is $50 over here in Canada, and that is an absolutely but insane price to pay. And I do not recommend it no matter what. reason I got him is simply for parts and to own every Star Wars set. But honestly, it is not worth it, like, at all. If you like Darth Vader and you're a gigantic Darth Vader fan, sure, get him. But if you're just going to get him for, like... Um, if you just want to get him, just to get him, you know, like, maybe he's got some good parts, don't do it. If you like black bushings, I, just go on Bricklink and order them. They're probably way cheaper. I'm not even sure if they're up on Bricklink yet. Um, but paying freaking 50 bucks for this guy is just not worth it. He is not a $50 figure. No matter how much you want to justify it, Lego, it's not worth 50 bucks. And again, over there, it's probably only 45 or whatever, but over here in Canada is the price that I'm concerned with. Paying 50 bucks for the big guy. Also, Boba's 40, so that's ridiculous. I don't, I want to get Boba, but at the same time, I really don't. Uh, so do I like the figure? I think he's okay. Posing him is a little awkward, though. I'll admit, this pose is, like, the best I could really get. And he's, like, he's just not very posable. Like, I mean, he can move a lot, sure. But overall, you're not going to get that many dynamic poses from his arms and stuff. Not like the old one. The old one is a lot more uh, unique in the way that you can pose him around. He definitely has a lot more uh, range and motion. You can get some cool poses and stuff. Unlike this guy who kind of suffers from that. Do I think he's a bad set? No, not really. But I don't really think he's worth his price tag. I just don't really. I can't like. I can't justify spending 50 um, again, he's got some good pieces, so if you like that, there you go. Anyways, this has been another LEGO Star Wars set review, or buildable figure review, or whatever, and I've only got two more left until I complete, you know, the sets that have been released. I gotta get Boba and 2017 Ray, and I will be sure to review them when I get them. I never did a haul video about this guy, I apologize, I got him last night as of the time of this recording. But yeah. I, I think he's decent. I think I like him a little bit. I don't, he's he's definitely a lot more fun than when I first built him. He's fun to just like play around with, and he's massive too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm Renzo Mox, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Goodbye.